Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can transfer both photos and videos from your Windows 10 PC to your iPhone. Now, it's a lot easier than you think. Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use iCloud. The great thing about iCloud is it doesn't require any cables, you don't have to install any software. As long as you have your PC and you have a browser, you'll be able to synchronize files with your iPhone. It's very easy, so why don't we just jump right on into it. Here I am on my Windows 10 PC, and to do this tutorial, of course, I need a photo and I need a video, and luckily, I have a recent photo of my son uh, where we went out, we took some nice photos, and I would love for this picture to be on my phone. I also have a video of my son, and he's chasing after our robot vacuum cleaner. He usually does a pretty good job of catching it, and then he loves to sit on it and ride it. Um, so we have these, I have this photo and this video, and I need to get it over onto my iPhone. What we're gonna do is I mentioned that we're gonna use iCloud to do this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna navigate to the website iCloud.com. Now iCloud is Apple's version of Google Drive, similar to Microsoft's OneDrive. It's their cloud offering where you could store photos, videos, documents in the cloud. So let's go ahead and use it. What you can see is here on the website, you have an option to download iCloud for Windows. What this will do is it'll install an app on your machine and then any photos, videos, documents, it'll just automatically synchronize that. That's probably the easiest way to do this because you really never have to think about it. All your files will just automatically be placed in iCloud. But today what I wanna do is I wanna show you how to do it in the browser because I said we wouldn't need to install anything. What you're gonna do is type in an Apple ID right in here, and once you type in an Apple ID, it'll prompt you for your password. You could even click on Keep Me Signed In if you don't wanna to have to sign in again. I've already done all that, and I've already signed in, and here I am. Once you sign in, you'll land on this version. This is the authenticated version of iCloud. So once you sign in, you'll see this. Uh, it'll probably look very familiar. You have these same icons as what you have on your iPhone. Now what we wanna do is the first thing that I wanna show you how to do is how to transfer a photo. What we're gonna do is click on photos. What I'm gonna do now is, uh, since I just clicked on photos, I want to just drag this window a little bit over and what you'll see is, so I clicked on photos and that brings me to the photo view and you'll see a few photos that I have on my phone. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna click on my photo on my desktop and all I need to do is simply drag and drop it over into uh, into iCloud and you'll see that it's uploading now. Okay, so the photo is uploading and I also have my iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my iPhone. And there the photo popped up on my phone right here. So there I could see the photo just appeared on my phone very quickly. So now that we've uploaded a photo, what we wanna do next is I wanna show you how to upload the video file. And to upload the video file, what we're gonna do is right now I'm in the photos view. I'm gonna click on photos and we're gonna go over to iCloud Drive. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And within iCloud Drive, what I, what I did is I've already created a folder called videos. I'm just gonna go ahead and double click into my videos folder. And now I'm gonna drag and drop my video file over. So let's go ahead and upload this. It'll take a little bit of time to upload. Luckily, because of the magic of editing, I'll just edit so the file appears uploaded. The video file just finished uploading. What I'm gonna do now is on my iPhone, I'm gonna go ahead and exit the Photos app, and now I'm gonna click on Files. And within Files, you'll see that there's a video file, C0049. This is the video that I just uploaded. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that, and now that's gonna download the file to my phone. Okay, so the video has successfully completed downloading to my phone and let's go ahead and play the video. There you can see my son running after the robot vacuum cleaner. All I had to do was take the photo from my PC, upload it to iCloud, I did the same with the video, and then both of those files appear on my phone. That's the easiest way to transfer both videos and photos from your computer to your phone. It doesn't require any type of cable, doesn't require any type of software. All you have to do is log into iCloud and you'll be able to do this. Now one thing to note is the free version of iCloud gives you five gigabytes, so as long as your photos and your videos are below five gigabytes, you'll be able to take advantage of this. If you have larger files, uh, iCloud also offers uh, premium versions where you could pay money for more file storage. The next tier up, I think is 99 cents and, uh, per month and it gives you 50 gigabytes. So you get quite a bit of space with that option. 
Anyway, I hope this video helped you uh, learn how to both transfer photos and videos from your PC to your iPhone. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there are any other videos that you wanna see me do in the future, please leave a message down below in the comments and I'll add it to my list of videos to create in the future. All right, well, thanks a lot and I'll see you next time. Bye.